we've got an image on our screen. All right, so in our Pi game here, we have a blue square that moves to the right when I press the key in my Pi game window. Now, we don't have the rest of the movement working quite yet, but I'm really excited to add an image into my game. So let's do that right now. So I wanna put an image in place of this square because as much as I love games about squares, it's not exactly what I want. So I'm gonna to go to Google Images here and I'm just gonna search for um, ball and then I'm going to choose images. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm on DuckDuckGo, but on Google you would choose color and transparent. I'm gonna change the type to transparent. And then I will also add in PNG at the end of it so that I know it's a PNG file format. So I can click on this gold ball here. It looks pretty good. I wanna double check it and make sure the background on the image is a checkerboard pattern. This means that the background is transparent. If it's not transparent, then when we add it into our game, you'll still have a square. It'll just be a ball inside of the square. We want it to actually be round. So we're gonna choose this image right here. I'm going to right click and save the image as. Not open a new tab or save link as. I want save image as. And then I can just call it a gold ball. And I'm just gonna save it in downloads. You can save it anywhere you want as long as you can find it. Because when I come back to my game here, I can then drag it into Replit. Now I have this gold ball PNG image that's part of my project. So now that it's part of my project, I want to actually use it. I want to load it into my game. So I'm gonna go down here um, underneath screen, but you can kind of do this wherever you'd like. And I'm gonna do a ball IMG, new variable, and it's gonna store that loaded image. So I'm gonna say pygame.image.load. I'm gonna load in an image, it takes one parameter, what image? I need to type in the exact name of the file. So I'm gonna say gold underscore ball dot PNG. Don't forget the file type, that dot PNG is important. And now if I run my game, nothing, nothing happens. There's a gold ball over here. Why, why, why didn't it show up? Well, I've loaded it, but I never actually drew it. So I'm gonna go down here in my while loop and I'm just going to comment out the drawing of the rectangle. I'm not going to delete it because I might need it in a second or two here. I might also need to reference some of the variables that are in there, some of the values that are in there. And then I'm gonna say screen dot blit. That's right, blit screen. Um, and then I'm going to use the name of the variable that has the image loaded in it and then I'm going to pass in the position that we want it to render it. Well, because I have a variable that's already keeping track of the X position, I'm going to enter that in as the X position. And then for the Y position, well, let's just create a variable for the Y position. So I'm going to do player Y, and then I'm gonna create that variable up here, just so that if we change it, like maybe like kind of what we're doing here, uh, uh, <laughs> now it will draw on the screen. So you're gonna go ahead and stop. I'm going to hit run. And we've got an image on our screen. All right, so if you chose an image that's actually small enough to fit on the canvas, you would be done right here. You would have the image on the screen and it would be working great. And we can see that it does move to the right when I hit the right arrow key because we're still using that variable and all of that. But that's how you add an image onto your screen.